2023 Toyota 4Runner 40th Anniversary Review, the right kind of throwback. Car companies are going hard on nostalgia and they're showing no signs of stopping. It's welcome in some ways, like manual transmissions with extra low crawler gears, but in others, it feels a lot like pandering. So which side does the 2023 Toyota 4Runner 40th Anniversary Edition fall on? That's a good question, one I spend a week trying to answer as I listen to every passerby comment on the stripe. In most ways, it's a regular 4Runner, which is already a tried and true throwback. The body on frame 4x4 has ridden atop the same platform since the 2010 model year, meaning it hasn't seen real fundamental change since it was closer to its 25th anniversary. Some harsher critics will knock Toyota for that, but I'm in the camp that believes much of the 4Runner's charm hangs on its traditional layout. It still has a 5-speed automatic, for goodness sake. In short, the 40th anniversary edition feels Toyota solid and everything about it seems familiar because it is. There's enough to set it apart visually from the other 4Runners out there and it's an endearing throwback to those of yesteryear, especially if you owned one way back when. Just know that it costs a lot more than it used to in the 80s. No one is looking at Toyota for what's new in the 4x4 space. That's not necessarily a bad thing, though, especially since the automaker represents proven performance in the off-road world. Toyota has already electrified its full-size Tundra and Sequoia, the Tacoma and 4Runner are next, but just not yet. As such, this 2023 model is something people, media included, love to dunk on for its ancient underpinnings. I don't really feel that way. With the 40th anniversary edition, you're essentially getting an State Route 5 premium and paying an extra $2,630 for the aesthetics. There's the tricolor stripe that runs down the side and briefly carries over to a section of the grill, as well as a fancy tailgate badge that lets everyone behind you in traffic know that you're driving a special edition. A one of 4,040 inches emblem on the dash also reminds you and your passengers that what you own is relatively rare. The bronze 17-inch wheels are specific to the 40th anniversary edition, pulling the look together nicely. The interior is just as simplistic. There are big knobs for the HVAC controls, quad spokes for the chunky steering wheel, and even an easy-to-read digital clock above the top vents. Again, since this generation of 4Runner has been around for eons, it hasn't taken the bait intact on a huge screen that sticks out of the dash. It's nicely integrated into the center stack with a smudge-free finish that's nice to use. Since the 40th anniversary edition is based on the State Route 5 premium trim, you get leatherette seats, blind spot monitoring, and push-button start. Subscribe to DriveWire. Stay up to speed with the latest news, car reviews, and culture stories sent straight to your inbox daily. One of the only pain points I'll attribute to its age is the powertrain. A 4.0-liter V6 is the 4Runner's only available engine making 270 horsepower and 278 pound-feet of torque. Both of those figures are the same as they were when the power plant was last updated for the 2010 model year. It's paired with a similarly sluggish 5-speed automatic, which is just okay. Driving the Toyota 4Runner 40th Anniversary Edition even though the 4Runner is notably slow by modern standards, it's not inconveniently so. You're more than able to maintain highway speeds with it and soak in the Toyota's body on frame goodness. You might think that's a jab but truly, I think the ride is more than alright, especially coming from the world of HD trucks and three-row SUVs. I'd be lying if I said there was no body roll going around corners, but it'd also be wrong of me to criticize the 4Runner too brutally here. This rig handles slight turns off the highway with surprising composure, meaning the transition from 55 miles per hour on smooth pavement to 45 miles per hour on bumpy rural roads is actually pretty pleasant. And given the SUV's less than stellar power output, it's no surprise that it shines at two-lane highway speeds and below. By nature, the 4Runner is meant to go off-road. The 40th Anniversary Edition rides on road-friendly Bridgestone Dueler HT tires, and while they aren't the grippy all-terrains you might expect, they provide solid versatility. In fact, I like them better than the Nitto Terra Grapplers on the 4Runner TRD Pro, review coming soon. The roughly 32-inch rollers are quiet around town and more than capable of crawling around on the Loose Creek Rock that we have at our property. The two-speed transfer case and a track-active traction control are what you get for traveling off pavement, 
no locking diff, crawl control, or multi-terrain select here like you get in more hardcore forerunners. That's okay, though, as this was never meant to sit atop Toyota's 4x4 hierarchy. But it's plenty apt off-road even without the doodads and gadgets. Some might lament the 2023 forerunner for its incompetitive spec sheet stats. But I think the simple formula it sticks to is the main reason to buy one. Everything works as you want it to, and it probably will for decades to come. Everything feels so well put together, typical for Toyota, which can't be said for every 4x4 on the market today. Plus, it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is really all anyone needs on the infotainment front.